Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today on the Real Estate Podcast. I'm Todd Sumney, the Chief Industry Officer for HomeSmart, and we are excited about today's episode. We have with us today a veteran from the home warranty industry, Kathleen Ogin with Cinch Home Warranty. So Kathleen, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me, Todd. I'm glad to be here. You know, um, I, I just, um, I know that Cinch Home Warranty has been working so closely with some of our franchisees and our uh, agents around the country. And, you know, I'm just excited about today's topic. Our topic, our title is 16, um, our secrets from a 16 year veteran in the home warranty uh, industry. And, you know, one of the best things we can do with our customers is help them protect probably for most of our customers, it's their largest asset, the largest asset that they own. And one of the best ways to do that is through a home warranty and through helping them protect that asset. And I know that you were in real estate prior to being in the home warranty industry, like 23 years or something that you've been collectively. Is that right? That's right. I, um, I did practice real estate uh, in Cincinnati, Ohio for several years before jumping over to the warranty space. Um, it was actually going to be a temporary move, but I just kind of fell in love with warranty and I've been there ever since. And I guess that's where I'd like to start and dig in. I mean, I've, I've heard you say that before. You fell in love with home warranty. You were a realtor. You were in the space, but you fell in love with home warranty and with um, serving clients through that type of service. And I think, you know, sometimes um, agents, you know, I, I don't want them to turn a blind eye to the thought or just, you know, of home warranty, right? It's so important with what they're doing. And can you tell us a little bit? Why did you fall in love with home warranty? How did that come yeah, about? Absolutely. So I, I think a lot of people, you you get bitten by the real estate bug, which is what happened to, to me after uh, my husband and I purchased our second home. Um, I found myself, I just kept looking at houses, even though we had already moved in. Um, and that's what lit my fire to get my my license and, and start working with uh, with buyers and sellers. Um, it, it came upon you know, seven years later, um, my manager reached out, that our rep from our home warranty company, which is at the time was HMS, which is now Cinch. Um, uh, she had retired. And if, if anyone had any questions, they were to reach out to uh, the regional folk uh, man there, uh, Dan Strayer, who's been in the industry for a long time. Right. Um, and I reached out and said, you know, I'd like to talk about the, the position that's open. Um, you know, I really, really love real estate. I, not only did I like working with buyers and sellers, but I liked working with my fellow realtors, my, my colleagues in the field. Um, and what warranty did was it opened up the industry for me. So I was able to work with multiple brokers, multiple agents, and really get to know the industry better um, from, a, from a you know more bird's eye view. Um, and then it's just helping, being able to help agents help their clients is really what made me fall in love with, with what I do. Uh, I get to work with brokers and agents every day and, and help them make sure that their clients have the peace of mind that the warranty can bring them. Well, and I know you have some stories that kind of support um you know what you're describing as well and you know that's what i kind of want to get to but real quick before we start i just want to give everyone kathleen's contact information and also for cinch uh home warranty so it's kathleen k-a-t-h-l-e-e-n-o-e-t-g-e-n is her last name and cinch home services um you can find uh her and any other information at cinch realestate.com so c-i-n-c-h-r-e-a-l-e-s-t-a-t-e.com so cinchrealestate.com um, you are the regional vice president your phone number is 513-404-0664 and your email is k-o-e-t-g-e-n at cinchhs.com so c-i-n-c-h-h-s.com so um, anyway, so let's dig in and let's talk a little bit about what is Cinch and, you know, what are some of the, the things that, Im that agents need to know about Cinch and also just about home warranty. Let's dig into some of those stories too. Absolutely. So, so Cinch is, um, we're the second largest warranty company in the country. 
Um, some of you might be familiar with our previous name, which was HMS Home Warranty. Um, we've been in the warranty space for 40, just a little over 40 years. Um, it was about four years ago, we did change our name. And the reason for that was we offered warranties through multiple channels, uh, real estate, utility spaces, uh, financial uh, channels. And we had different names for all of those products and it got a little confusing. So we did change our name to Cinch and that's a, an important thing Todd mentioned. Our real, our real estate website is Cinch realestate.com. You want to make sure you go to that and not to cinchhomeservices.com because cinch real estate is where you're going to find our brochure you can download. You can uh, find your local account executive on our website there. You can um, enroll in our agent resource center that'll allow you to enroll warranties, convert warranties, and manage your warranties. So just make sure you go to cinchrealestate.com. But we've been around for a long time where um, we have coverage in the 48 contiguous United States. Um, and we've got the largest service network available, even though we're the number two in size. Uh, we do have the best service network, which is really uh, where the rubber meets the road, um, because we want to make sure we provide great service for your clients. Well, and actually, I learned something today, I have to admit, because um, I've known HMS for a long time. That shows my age a little bit. Anyone who's been around the real estate industry for, for a, a while, they recognize that. And I did not connect that uh, Cinch is, is HMS and the two of you are that you did that name change. So um, anyway, very interesting. I'm sitting here looking at a visual for those of you watching on YouTube, you can see it. But those of you that are listening, uh, we have up on the screen like Cinch Home Services by the numbers and the entire United States is entirely painted green the entire uh, coverage nationwide. So uh, programs available in the 48, uh, in the lower 48. Um, you know, and you have all these awards down at the bottom about the 17, you know, 2021 Stevie Awards for sales and customer service, et cetera. But um, I'll let you kind of go through some of these numbers here for everyone. And then we're gonna talk about why that matters. You know, why yeah, it's important to a real estate professional. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we do have coverage from, from sea to shining sea, if you will. Um, and the, the Stevie Awards are annual awards that are given out for customer service. Um, and we're very proud of those. And I, I should update the screen for 2022 because we, we collect them in every year. Um, but that's what's most important to us. We are really driven by the customer experience and making sure that the customer is well taken care of. So really all of our efforts um, go to that. And in addition to, you know, our customer at the end of the day is the homeowner, um, but it's also the real estate agent. Um, and we recognize that you, you know, you need service too, and you need support, and you need education, and we have that available for everybody. Right, right. Well, and I know right now, as we record this today, um, some areas of the country, they're experiencing uh, extreme heat right now, and it's yeah. all across the entire country. And you know, those air conditioners, some of those uh, cooling systems, you know, they could they could go at any one moment. And, you know, I think it's just so important that uh, that we protect our clients. We also protect our business. We protect the brokerage by mm -hmm. giving this type of, of coverage. But I love the phrase you have up at the top, improving and simplifying home ownership while providing, you know, reducing the risk um of home and um, home and system maintenance so uh, yeah. i'll read through some of the numbers here real quick uh founded in 1978 serving over a million customers right now uh 900 plus employees 19,000 uh provider firms in the cinch network and i think you work with providers a little differently i think you'll you'll describe that here in a minute 45,000 technicians um number two largest u.s provider of home protection plans and uh, you know, four distribution channels, 14 comprehensive customer solutions. So, um, you know, seven industry verticals here in real estate, pretty powerful stuff. So, yeah. um, you know, I know you've been um, around the industry for a while. You know, why, why should a real estate agent right now be paying attention? Like, why is this important? And why at times do, do real estate agents ignore this or not want to talk about it. I, do you know what yeah, I mean? It, it's been an interesting couple of years in the industry. And um, we have seen where 
maybe agents who previously were really big fans of, of warranty and, and getting the warranty protection for their client have moved away from it a little bit in a strong seller's market. Um, and it is a matter of, um, you know, trying to present the best offer you possibly can. I have been coaching, you know, the agents that I work with to, to write a really strong offer, um, write the warranty in and, and say that the buyer's going to pay for it. Um, you know, take it basically off the, uh, off of the bargaining table and make sure that your client gets that coverage at the closing table, which is really important. Um, you know, Todd, you mentioned the heat wave that we're going through right now. You know, we see a lot of air conditioning claims and um, there, there's a couple of different, uh, I, I, I will say that working with warranty for as long as I have, I know more about HVAC than I want to, um, <laughs> but I have, I have learned a thing or two. Okay. Um, but, you know, we're seeing a lot of um, expenses rise in the HVAC space. Air conditioning um, units are getting more expensive. Parts are getting more expensive refrigerants getting more expensive. So, you know, in a, in a time right now, if you're looking at a homeowner who is purchasing their, their largest asset and really taking up, you know, a lot of their savings and, and when they move into that house, they don't have a, a great big bank account and they have to turn over $6,500 to put in a new air conditioning system. Right. You know, if, if you put a warranty on that house, you're a hero, they're gonna be grateful and they're gonna save a lot of money. Yeah, and well, and your story just a moment ago about in a strong seller's market, um, I know one of the things that you have is um, you have free seller's coverage. And I, that just, um, I, I lit up when I, when I heard you tell me this yesterday because um, I don't understand why this isn't on every single listing of every agent that's listening because I know some companies have pulled back from doing that. But yet, literally, when can you describe your free, free seller's coverage for the audience and talk a little bit about when you take a listing, putting the coverage on the home immediately, and they can do that through the, the agent portal that they have, that they That's can right. sign up with you, right? So yeah, can you talk absolutely. about that a little bit? Yeah, we're really proud of our seller's coverage. Um, if you've got a listing and you talk to your sellers about you know how to position their house on the market in a really strong position, one of the ways you can do that is with a seller warranty. And this, what the seller warranty basically is, it's the seller saying, okay, I'm gonna purchase a warranty for my buyer at closing. Once I have a contract and I'm gonna to go to closing, I'm gonna purchase a warranty for that person. But during the listing, we're gonna give them free coverage on their house. So, you know, from the day they're listing to the day they go to closing, the water heater breaks, the dishwasher stops working, you know, that's one less expense that they have to worry about. And if they don't sell their house, if for whatever reason the house doesn't sell um, and they've got to take it off the market, if if they don't if they don't close, they don't pay for it. So it's really free, um, and that's even if they've made a claim. Uh, we may have put in a new dishwasher in that house, you know, three months ago, and the listing expires and they choose not to relist. That's they're finished with us. They don't owe us any money at that point. And it they you know back in the day. Um, sellers, when houses sat on the market a bit longer, studies were done and showed that homes that had a warranty sold faster and sold for a higher price than homes that don't have a warranty. And that's just because the buyer gets that peace of mind knowing that when they move into the house, if there is an unexpected failure, they're not going to have to come up with that you know, big chunk of cash. So free sellers coverage is amazing. Um, the seller can market the house with the coverage being available and then they get the, the benefit of if they have a breakdown, they don't have to worry about it. Well, again, we were making jokes about being in the industry for a little bit longer than we all want to admit. But <laughs> um, those of us that have been around, we just have heard the stories over and over again of an agent taking a listing and a couple days later, just ironically something goes it's the mm -hmm. water heater or it's the air conditioner mm -hmm. or um you know something of you know of importance it's just happened far too many times mm -hmm. and i do think that um you know a, a buyer purchasing the home um they're yes they're relying on an inspection and they have other things that are going on as you know to help them understand the condition of the home but the free the seller's coverage to me it just takes away any of the things that could fall through the cracks or anything yeah. that just randomly just happens unexpectedly, right? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, um, anyway, that's a, um, a great service that you all provide. So I'm so glad 
that that you do that and i'm and i'm sure you've heard some stories do you have some stories yeah like, uh, you know actually it, interestingly we were talking about seller warranties um we had a deal recently where a seller the the water heater went out um it was discovered on the walkthrough and you know the seller was already out of the house the buyer was doing their walkthrough and they discovered that the water heater was leaking and we were able to take care of it at you know, for the seller, they had no out-of-pocket expenses outside of the deductible. But in looking at fire coverage too, um, in this screen that you just popped up, this is a great story, a great success story of, of a home in Indianapolis that closed recently. And when the buyers were moving in, they discovered that the air conditioner wasn't working. So they did place a claim. There was a warranty on the home. They did place a claim and we sent a provider out. And what the provider does when he goes out is he diagnoses the system. Um, you know, the coverage is very broad, but you know, there's always exceptions to any warranty insurance, whatnot. And one of them in, in our case is pre-existing conditions, right? So things have to be in good working order when the warranty goes into effect and then they break down and then we take care of them. So in this case, our service provider went out, took a look at it. There are multiple holes in the evaporator coil. Like no way this happened in the you know three hours since closing, right? So that would be a denied claim as pre-existing, but we do have a clause in the warranty, and this is really important for buyers, that unknown pre-existing conditions are covered. And we define that as something that couldn't be visually inspected or mechanically tested. So these folks did have a home inspection before closing. There were no problems with the air conditioning shown at that time. Um, and so we were able to overturn this claim, cover it. We replaced the evaporator coil and we saved the homeowner um, the, what would have been a $1,900 bill. Wow. Well, one of the other things that I'm sitting here looking at are the dates that are up on the screen. You're talking about, you know, it, it, it happened all so quickly too. Yeah. Um, it was just, yeah. I mean, within what the dates I'm seeing here, within five days, you know, this yeah. was taken yeah. care of. So uh, speed of service, you know, was pretty, pretty neat too. So yeah. um, very powerful. Yeah, and that and that story brings up a question that um, that we get asked a lot, which is, are home inspections required to have a home warranty? And they're not, but it does make the warranty stronger because of that clause. If they can show, hey, look, I had this inspected, it was working fine. You know, it's interesting in, in some parts of the country where it gets cold in the winter time. Um, you know, you can't test air conditioning if it's below, I think, 55 degrees outside. It it compromises the system. So right. if they visually inspected that, but in the spring they go to turn it on and it's devoid of, of uh, Freon at all, refrigerant at all, we'll still cover that because they did at least have a home inspection. So I think one takeaway every agent can take away is the the unknown pre-existing clause. I mean, that that is super powerful and yeah. important for your clients. And that's a, um, something that they all should look out for. Um, you know, I know you... Um, I have a couple other stories. I think there's a home in Cincinnati that you were talking about. Yeah, th this is a great story, actually. Th and this comes up from time to time, and it's an it's a, an expense I really think that buyers don't ever anticipate. Everyone's afraid that their HVAC is going to fail. Everyone's afraid their water heater is going to go out. But this is an example of a plumbing claim where the homeowner had been there for a while, um, had been in the house for several months, but they noticed that there was water leaking through a ceiling from a bathroom up above. So we sent somebody out to take a look at it. They opened up the uh, the plumbing and found that the entire main stack of the house, which is a four inch cast iron stack needed to be replaced. And then the arms that went out the lateral um, lines that went to the toilet and the vanity and the tub in that bathroom all needed to be replaced. That was a $7,000 bill that was wow. covered under the warranty. So you really don't, you don't think about, wow, what if I have to replace the entire main, you know, stack in my home? Um, it gets very, very expensive. And that was covered under the warranty. Well, and you mentioned earlier, then you're the hero, the agent. Yeah. I mean, you know, we talk about having clients for life in this business yes. and taking care of our clients and serving them. This is one of the best ways I think that we can serve them because when this does happen and it and these things invariably do mm -hmm. then then you've protected them and you're the hero yeah. and do you think there's a little bit of gratefulness on the on the end of the homeowner that just saved seven thousand dollars after moving in right absolutely uh, I, I love that and and uh and i've worked with you for years um one of the other things that i love that i love um you know you have a saying um 
that's helped me. Uh, you say coverage is a peach. Can you, can you explain to everybody coverage is a peach? What does that mean? Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, when, when you're talking to your buyers and your sellers, they, they have lots and lots of questions. They might ask you, hey, what does that warranty cover? And this is a cheat sheet. If you just think of the word peach, you'll remember we cover plumbing, electrical, appliances, cooling, and heating. So if you're on the fly and you need to answer that question, just think about coverage being a peach. Love that. So for those of you that are, that are looking or just listening, uh, we have coverage is a peach up on the screen. P for plumbing, E for electrical, A for appliances, C for cooling, and H for healing. What a great or uh, heating. What a great way to uh, kind of remember that. So yeah, um, I, I love that. We have fun so, with that one. Uh, that's great. That's great. Um, what else though? What what um, you know? I know. Um, you have some unique things too that agents could really consider uh, with central warranty. Like I think you have an insurance deductible, um, you know, uh, type of a, a product. Can you kind of talk a little bit about what what sets you apart? You know, what makes you different um, than other home warranties, and and talk about that homeowner's insurance one because, you know, when something happens, like say there's a flood in the home, you know, that's not or, you know, the carpet or something like that is like, you know, flooded in an area or something that mm -hmm. kind of gets into that homeowner's insurance space, doesn't it? That's correct. That's correct. And and Todd, we know that we're not the only warranty out there. There's a lot of co competition in our space. So we try to go above and beyond and do things a little bit different and give a little extra coverage to our clients to set us apart. And that homeowner's insurance deductible reimbursement is one of the things that we do. And what this is, is it's outside of the warranty. So this is for a, something that happens in your home where you need to contact your homeowner's insurance company. So you're calling State Farm, you're not calling sick. A tree falls on the house, the water heater leaks and ruins the finished part of the basement, you know, whatever it is. So you're calling, you're making an insurance claim and you're gonna have to pay a deductible with that claim. Usually 500 to thousand dollars, depending on your policy. Right. We will reimburse the homeowner the first $500 of their insurance deductible. All they have to do is contact us, let us know that they placed a claim and that they did pay a, a um, deductible, and we'll send them a check. And it's just a way that we can kind of work with insurance um, to, you know, help the homeowner stay whole in that in that in that situation. But again, it doesn't have to be related to the warranty. It can be, a, you know, a, a windstorm blew the shingles off your roof. Um, but if you're making an insurance claim, we're going to help you out with your deductible. That's that's a powerful feature right there. It is. And we're that... the only warranty company in the industry that offers it. Wow. That's yeah. that's great. Well, what's what about uh, other items that come up like emergency lodging or I've heard you use a claim be, or a, a phrase before uh, like claim no claim? Yeah, like... yeah, absolutely. So um, let me start with the claim no claim there, Todd, because this is another one of the th those things that we do exclusively. Um, and the reason why it's called claim no claim is if you make a claim, you're going to benefit under the warranty, right? Um, but if you make no claim, we also have a benefit for you. So if you've been in the house through nine months and you have a warranty and you haven't made a claim, we authorize you to go and call any local HVAC contractor and have your furnace and air conditioning cleaned and serviced, and we'll reimburse you up to $100 for doing that. So we're really kind of, we're paying you to do something you should do anyway. If you've been in the house now, now it's your 10th month, it's probably time to have that done. Um, but there's a couple of hidden benefits in there too. Not only do you get a free clean and service, but you also, if the HVAC contractor finds something wrong, you know, maybe there's a, a small crack in the heat exchanger or there's some pinhole leaks in the evaporator coil. So you still are under warranty coverage and you can make a claim and have that fixed under the warranty, which is great. And then the other hidden benefit is actually for agents. I know that you are always looking for reasons to reach out to recent clients and start a conversation again. And this is a great reason to do that. You know, 10 months after closing, if they had a warranty, give them a call, see how they're doing. How's the house going? Did you make a claim under the warranty? Oh, you didn't? Great. Make sure you take care of this or take advantage of this um, great benefit. And then, of course, you can ask them if they know anybody who needs to buy or sell real estate. But you're kind of providing a little service for them 10 months after the deal and a good reason to, to have that conversation again. So we're, we love the claim, no claim. Again, only warranty company in the industry to do that one. 
but there's, there's some other things that we do um, a little differently. The emergency lodging reimbursement is something that a homeowner can take advantage of if they have a claim that is affecting the, you know, it's too hot to be in the house, it's too cold to be in the house, there's no water in the house, we'll let them go to a hotel and we'll reimburse them up to $1,200 for that. And that's, it's a very uh, generous allowance. Other warranty companies do that, but nobody has a uh, an allowance as big as ours. Um, and one other thing I just wanna to touch on on this, on this screen too, Todd, is the premier upgrade package. This is so important. Every warranty company out there has an upgrade. Um, we do ours better. We basically allow for a, um, depending on where you are, the cost of the upgrade is about $100, um, but that provides up to $2,000 in additional coverage under the warranty for things that no warranty co company covers like permits, disposal, um, if you need to have duct modifications, if you have to have the plumbing modifications to have things fit in, um, those types of things. So we're really proud of our premier upgrade package. It really gives a complete pack, a complete coverage umbrella over your client. So um, you will always want to consider adding that to the plan when you're when you're working with your buyer. Oh, that's great. So that that's an actual um, that's an add-on that they would add in. Okay, right. Great. And there's, you know, there are a, other add-ons. You know, um, like we said, the warranty covers the heat. Mm -hmm. But you can add pool coverage, you can add water softeners, you can add septic systems, you know, you can really customize the warranty for the house that you're covering. Love that. What's this uh, appliance byline? Down... The appliance byline is fantastic. So, you know, as I said, we're the second largest warranty company in the country. So we obviously we buy a lot of appliances because we replace a lot of washers and dryers and stoves and refrigerators and whatnot. So we've got really great buying power. We can pass that on to our buyers and our sellers if they have a warranty and they want, um, you know, maybe it's the first thing they know they're going to do is they're going to move in, they're going to redo the kitchen, or it's a first time home buyer and they don't own a washer or dryer. So they can go on, it's basically online shopping um, and shop for appliances through our providers um, and save about 30% off of retail. So it's, it's a little better than you can do at a sale at, you know, Home Depot. And then we'll have them delivered and installed right there at the house. It's a wonderful benefit for our clients. It's just us passing our savings on to them. Wow. So do they do they do that through the web through your website? So cinchrealestate.com. So no, when they when they get their policy, mm -hmm. uh, we give them the website. You have to be a policyholder to get it. Got it. Um, and then um, once they once they do have their policy, they can go on that website and do their shopping. Wow, that's great. All right, so those of you that are listening, uh, up on the screen, we do have a, a graphic and it says, you know, what sets us apart? Homeowner's insurance, deductible reimbursement, emergency lodging reimbursement, claim no claim, which Kathleen's talked about, the premier upgrade package, um, leading workmanship guarantee, and then that appliance byline. So um, some very unique things there that are very, very powerful. And yeah. I and hope it agents explore that with you. I'm sorry. That that leading workmanship guarantee is the only one I didn't touch on, Todd, and that's it's 180 days. Any repair that we do, we guarantee for six full months afterwards. So that applies even if your warranty has expired and you have the same failure, we're going to come out and fix it again. And it just says that we really stand behind what we do. Right, right. I love that. Okay, so the, for those of you listening, you're going to want to visit cinchrealestate.com. Uh, you can download your local brochure, you can find your local account executive, you can review terms and conditions, and then, um, as you mentioned, access that agent resource center, you know, establishing your account. And I guess um, from there, you can kind of enroll, convert, manage, watch. Like, how do you know when that 10 month, when that 10 month time comes up to call your yeah. clients and say, hey, checking in on you, how you doing? And if you haven't made a claim, let's do that. Let's go get that AC serviced or the furnace serviced or whatever, right? Yeah. So absolutely. how do they know that? How do they track all their different home warranties? Is all that part of the resource center? It is. The agent resource center is super easy to use. Um, it's a great tool to help you manage the the warranties for your clients. Um, you can even generate invoices. The title company calls you needs an needs a invoice for closing. Um, it's all right there in the agent resource center. It's it's very very simple to use. Oh, love that. Love that. So um, for those of you that are uh, uh, watching on YouTube, I just put up on the screen kind of the bullet points there that you can take a look at, uh, centralestate.com. So, you know, um, 
you know, what, what else can, what else do we need to talk about or that we need to, you know, cover today that, you know, we're in a very competitive market right now. You know, agents are just looking for any edge to give them, you know, uh, to differentiate themselves from everyone else in the industry. Any parting thoughts, I guess, for the, for the audience? You know, one thing I'll, I'll touch on, Todd, and we'll kind of go backwards a little bit to the seller warranty. Um, you know, one story, not one story, but I've heard from, from many agents is that when they go in for a listing appointment and they talk about the warranty and they talk about the benefits of putting a seller warranty on the property, uh, the benefit that it can provide them during the listing and then even afterwards because the seller warranty provides some um lessening of liability for the seller as well. You know, when they walk away from that closing table, they don't want to look back. They don't want to worry about, hey, if the air conditioning goes out next week, is that buyer going to, you know, call me up? So right. they can walk away from the, the transaction free and clear and confident. And then they give that benefit to the buyer. So, you know, another agent might come and, and go for a listing appointment with the same seller and not mention the warranty. And I think that the, the agent that, that talked about the warranty shows that they really care more about the seller and, and them doing well and their, you know, their well-being and their peace of mind. Um, so it really can give an agent an edge in a, in a listing presentation to talk about the warranty. I think that's a great point that you bring up too, because any of us that have been tracking the numbers and looking at data about what's happened in 20, 21, 22, you know, we did have that flurry of purchasing that took place in 21, you know, 20. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I think that we've seen some increases in litigation yeah. that have come up yeah. even in situations where maybe, a, you know, um, you know, a buyer for whatever reason, they're just, um, they're, they're coming back, you know, because something does happen and they're, they're, yeah. you know, really trying to, um, maybe go after that seller and say, did you know about this? You know? And I think yeah. it's a very good point what you bring up that this really does help protect and minimize that. Right. Yeah. It, it also helps protect the agent and the brokerage, you know, right. I, the risk reduction part of the warranty is often overlooked, but it's really important. You know, a, a buyer moves into a house, they're happy as can be, they love their new home, they love their agent. And then next week the air conditioning goes out and now they don't love their house so much. They don't love their agent so much, but if they have a warranty on there, then they don't have to, the agent can, you know, feel confident that we'll take care. Right. Right. Well, I, you know, I, uh, I love the fact of what you said earlier, though, about how you loved, you fell in love with home warranty because there are certain individuals in the industry that they love taking care of people. They love yeah. serving clients. They love protecting them. And I think that that's something that you and your teammates there at Cinch do. And yeah. I think that's something that um, when I look at top real estate agents around the country, again, you've heard me say it, guys, a hundred times, you know, it's all about serving, serving is more important than anything else we do taking care of our customers and serving our customers this, and this is a a great way to do it so for any of you that would like to connect with cinch home warranty just learn about them get connected with the local representative you know in your area if you want to um you know you can even do a text i put up on the screen right here text k-o-e-t-g-e-n to eight eight five zero zero so if you send a text to the short code 88500 and in the text you put k-o-e-t-g-e-n with which is uh, kathleen's first initial and her last name um, then uh, we will make sure you get connected and connected with the right people uh, so kathleen ogen um, cinch home services regional vice president 513-404-0664 K-O-G-E-N at cinchhs.com. So K-O-E-T-G-E-N at C-I-N-C-H-H-S.com. Or the best place, Cinch Real Estate. Just go get connected right there. Yeah. But um, thank you for being here with us today. Thanks for taking care of all of our uh, customers. I know in some areas of the country, you have an awful lot of uh, home smart agents that you're helping and helping their customers. So we appreciate you and we appreciate everything your teams are doing. 
Thanks so much, Todd. I, I appreciate you having me and, uh, and we do love to take care of our folks. So please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, and we do appreciate all the support we get from HomeSmart. So thank you. I love that. All right. Well, thank you. Well, this has been another episode of The Real Estate. Today's episode, Secrets from a 16-Year Veteran in the Home Warranty Industry, What You Need to Know, uh, Partnership Protection and Opportunities. I think we've covered all those topics. So I hope you all take these tactics, put them into action in your business. We hope that we see you back on future episodes here of The Real Estate. And I'm Todd Sumney. We'll see you next time around. Thanks for joining us today. Like what you're hearing on The Real Estate? Tell your friends about us. Tell them to check out all of our episodes on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and Spotify. And don't forget to send any topics you want us to tackle to the real estate at homesmart.com.